Hello everyone, welcome back to the yearly Fortnite Mirrors Halloween skin concept video for Fortnite. Well, Fortnite Mirrors, you get what I mean. Anyways, welcome back everyone to another year of this. You guys seem to really enjoy this, so I'm back again for another year. And if you guys want to see more at, throughout the year, maybe Christmas, maybe spring, I already did summer, I might do another summer, we'll have to see. Let me know down below. And let me know, as always, which one is your favorite. And if you're enjoying the content that I've been putting out lately, you can always subscribe to see more. Anyways, I think it's time to get into this. So let's go with the first one. And by the way, all of the artists who made these, their links will be down below to the original Reddit posts. Check them out there. Make sure to show them some love, as always. And I greatly appreciate their work. And if you're watching this, you're awesome, just like the viewers. You guys are awesome as well. I appreciate all of you, and I really appreciate these artists for making this super ooh, unique art that I didn't even recognize had that edit style too for it. That is really cool. So starting it off with the first one from Flying Magikarp Zero, and that is Wick. Man, this one is cool. Um, they also have a Twitter. I can't even read that. I don't know why it's so blurry, but they also have a Twitter. Um, IK Heat Gen. Yeah, you can check that out. So, a wick. Candle wick. Yes, this is really cool. It's a humanized version of a candle wick. And I have to say that it sort of it fits the Fort Nightmares theme, you know, the Halloween concept, as it also says in the title. This was put out a month ago as an early one. So, they got on the train early, and I have to say that I like it. I think it's really cool. It's a female one. I like it. Is and I think that's the back bling right there. Yes, it is. A uh, wick. I like it. John Wick. Eh, wick. It's cool. I don't know why I went to that, but I like it. And also, it has an edit style for a minty version, which is cool. It sort of has that sort of um, Christmas slash Halloween slash creepy eternal glow. I like it. I think that's cool. I like the color uh, color schemes on both of them. Uh, the um, minty version is pretty cool, like a purple and dark color. That's pretty cool. Uh, the gold and dark color, or gold and like uh, navy blue for the other one is really nice. Overall, really like this one. And shout out to Flying Magikarp Zero. Oh, the backlink for that one's cool too. Man, that is really cool. Next up here, kicking off October with this Halloween themed vampire skin concept. What should I call her? So this person does not have a name, and this is made by Penny Bears Ford, and their art name is Penelope.art. Man, this is actually pretty cool. It looks really well drawn. And I don't know why I couldn't think of a name for this one. I mean, damn, your art is really solid. And maybe I can help you think of a good name. If anyone has a good name for this down below, think. And we shall come together and think. It would be pretty cool. I would, honestly, I'm curious. I don't know. I mean, we already have Dusk, Fable, uh, Grim Fable. Um, I have to think. There are some, mm, I have to think. Uh, definitely have to say that I do like this one. I like the color scheme. I like the hair. She looks pretty. And I like the wings a lot. Those are really cool. And overall, I think this one is pretty solid. And shout out to this person. Um, link below as always. Really awesome. Yes. Moving on. As always, I have to put a bear. And this year's bear is pretty cool. This one's from Zero Wolf Fox. There's not two apps. It's just one. I guess kind of that's how it works. Zero Wolf Fox. Fox or Zero Wolf Fox. I was bored, so I decided to make a Hall Halloween slash Valentine's concept. Her name is Grim Team Leader. And if you're curious, the pick pickaxe animation is the same as Cap's shield animation. I'll have to think of that. Um, Lovely Reaper is the pickaxe in the skin. Oh man, that is cool. It is so cute. I would definitely rock this. This one might be one of my favorites so far. I mean, we've had three, but I mean, just I'm biased. Um, I love all these, but I have to say that probably I would rock this one the most as I love the bears. And damn, I really like this one. It is so beautiful. And the back bling! Oh man, that is so cute! I like this one. I would love to see this. And that pickaxe is really cute. It's really cool and probably looks very sharp. So shout out to this person. 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 Zero Wolf Fox. Congrats. This one is really nice. Really nice. And I have a bias. Um, another one here. Turning Axo into a vampire. This one is Draxo. The cloaked terror from the depths of the sea. Oh man, that is really cool. I love this one. I like Axo. And honestly, I would probably rock this one as my main style for Axo. If, or if it's a different skin. Either one, I definitely use this one over the normal Axo. As I have to say, I really like this one on the left. 
the vest and the version with the cape is very nice and I like the sort of button or whatever that keeps you know the cape is an axolotl and the hat emblem too Oh man, this is just so cool. And this one is by Lex Felix. I don't know if I said that already. Lex Felix. Shout out to you. This one's from a year ago. And I have to say that this one is definitely also a really cool one. Damn, I really like this one. It is so cute. I love Axo. And I would definitely love to see Axo Draxified. Yes. Moving on again. This one is so beautiful. So pretty and so cute. By Emmy Lou 115 or Emmy Lou 115. This one is named Holly. Holly, short for Halloween. So maybe Holly. Um, and she has a bat pack. Oh, I see. Okay. This is so freaking cute. This is what I look for in a girl. This is your typical cute goth alternative girl. I love her. She is so freaking adorable. Yes. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. I love it. Shout out to you, Emmy Lou. Yes. That is so cute. And the back, like, and oh, like the little hair thing. Oh, man, that is so cool. I love that. Oh, and the edit style. I didn't even see the edit style. Oh, my God. Like an orange version. Okay, I'm in love. I love the cobwebs on the shoulders. I love the color scheme on both. I just love all the detail. It is really well put together. I really like the bat additions to it. Oh, and on the back, that is so good. Oh, my God. I love this one. Like, I feel like if this was in game, it would look so cool. Oh my god. Okay, please, please, Epic, put this one in the game. I mean, put all these, but oh man, especially this. I love this one. Shout out to this person, Emmy Lou. You did an amazing job. Great one. Moving on. Do I really have to say the name? <laughs> Here's my new concept. Kuchi. 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 I don't want to say it like coochie because that just sounds wrong, but coochie, and I looked up the translation is mouth, and I can definitely see why, as this one is inspired by a yokai. Futaka. Oh, I get it. Futakuchi Onana. Ona. Okay, I get it. Sorry, I'm really tired, and I cannot pronounce things as well as I usually can, which is not always the best either. And this one is by Gabriel Politi. 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 Um, and I have to say that on the front, it looks like your standard sort of Asian skin, looking skin, kind of like, uh, ah, oh man, like, um, Jade, is that her name? Yeah, never on that skin. Uh, looks kind of like down the front, and on the back, she has a freaking mouth, like a yokai. And yeah, that is really cool. I have to say that it's really creative and gives you something to look at from the back, which is a unique twist. You get to see the face sort of on the back. Hmm? That's cool. I do like that. I think that it is creative. And yeah, I like it. She wants all the candy. Here's my first Halloween theme concept, which is based on Futakuchi Ona, a Japanese yokai. Okay, now that I get the name, yes. Sorry. It's kind of hard to just call it Kuchi or Kuchi. 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 Uh, I'll have to see. Anyways, if anyone knows how to pronounce that, please let me know. Uh, Kuchi. 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 Okay. Anyways, really awesome one. Appreciate the, the 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 concept. Sorry, my brain is just all wrapped up. Uh, but yeah, really cool. Uh, moving on now to imagine if you must, all sweaty skins merged into one. The Krankenstein. This one is from Anime Absol, and this is the Undead Sweat. Oh man, this is absolutely terrifying. Okay, so it has Dynamo right here, Siren, Crystal, Spark Plug, Dark Bomber. Uh, and, oh, what is that? I don't know what that says. Poise Playmaker, um, Aura, a superhero skin, and Z Zodi? 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 Uh, anyways, yeah, that one. Um, oh man, this is absolutely terrifying. And then the backling Unsprout and the Bone Wand. Oh my god, this is really creative. And overall, really funny. This would be an absolutely hilarious skin to see. A really good troll skin. And overall, really funny, to be honest. I would not be opposed to seeing this, even though it's absolutely terrifying. All right, so when I was recording this, I forgot to include this, and I don't know why, so I'm just adding this part in. But oh my god, this one is pretty damn funny. Uh, this was put out a couple years ago on the Fortnite Reddit, and this is Hannibal Fishstick by the curtis oh my god this is hilarious halloween skin inspired by 
Hannibal in Silence of the Lambs. Nightstick can be backbling or a pickaxe. Appropriate because fish eat other fish. F10 on the map is the ocean you're lucky landing. Oh, what the? Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay. I see now. I was so confused when I saw that. Um, okay. This is solid. It's funny. It's cute. What happened? Probably not, but I like it and I definitely would buy it. Uh, the top comment is very rude saying this is garbage. I disagree. I'm actually going to be downvoting that right now. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. Yep. I don't agree with that, especially since it's decently drawn funny idea and overall not bad like i've seen some literally microsoft paint ones and i still wouldn't even say it because it's not nice but you know what it's pretty damn solid i do like this one and frick you sir for being mean to bore hannibal fish dick and the curtis shout out to the curtis this one's cool i do like it for this next one this is from log draws which i have featured before shout out to log draws and this one is designed for counterparts of the season six battle pass skins from chapter one and it is male slash female versions of skins that were females now male and male skins that are now female so starting off with dire which was a male skin that we never had a female counterpart to which was strange as we always usually do and this one is a cheerleader which i've always thought should be and it is a female cheerleader werewolf with sides really creative really cool really awesome uh this one i'm pretty sure is supposed to be of fable really nice do like it i like the braid that's cool and then finally ah oh, damn it i can't even think of her name but like the female uh tomato oh yeah oh i see oh okay i get the counterpart for this one so it uh the original one was a female tomato head and this one like a female tomato head ninja and this one is a male beef boss sort of ninja uh sort of i don't know what to, to describe it as but that is really cool um howler okay so this one's gonna be called howler okay that is cool i like to transform and honestly i think dire this whole time should have been like reactive that would have been really cool like as like night comes that'd be cool for this if this ever comes out that'd be a really cool addition um tail oh okay his name is tail and the pickaxe um the why is it giving me this the chop choppers pretty cool like a kitchen knife and a butcher's knife uh the back bling is really cool a bear trap i don't think we've ever seen that that is cool and beef lord okay okay kind of reminds me of the night one and i think this one should probably be made last as i think that we've kind of seen one similar and i would really like to see these other two put in the spotlight first man this these ones are really cool i have to say all of them i definitely would get i really like these and overall a really cool idea cool counterparts Alrighty, another cool one we have here this is the gourdsman and this is inspired from giddy up and i have to say that i would genuinely really like this as i think that giddy up was okay i think it was a really funny idea but this seems genuinely really cool looking and this is by Keegan Snoddy, Snoddy, Ke Keegan Snoddy. I, I don't know, um, but really cool. I have to say that I really enjoy this one, and I like the back bling as well. It's interesting. Uh, the pickaxe is that pickaxe? Uh, yeah, pickaxe. Um, like too. This seems to be like hand drawn, or at least partially i don't know but i have to say that the art is very interesting and it's like shaded really cool um but i have to say that i do like this and it would be fun to have it's a whole mix of stuff and honestly too it would be cool to just have like a knight face too like the black knight in this that would be really funny and finally chaos agentified versions of two of my favorite halloween skins again from law draws man all right, so the first one is a Chaos Willow, and I think they're kind of going, he's kind of going for like a, uh, kind of like, yeah, like a Chaos Agent sort of agent, uh, maybe like the gumshoe kind of thing for Willow here. I do really like it, the corsets, the pinstripe, the tie, the hands. Um, oh man, that back bling is so cute. And the edit style of the doll face with like the sort of fedora looking hat on, I have to say looks really, really good. I love this one so much. And then Chaos Teeth. Oh my god. That is so funny. I really like this one. This is just so good. This might be my favorite. I really like it. And the backling too with the lollipop and the fedora. 
Oh man, I really like this one. This is so creative, so cool, and I really like the aesthetic this person was going for and overall really love this one. So yeah, that concludes it. I might be doing another one of these closer to Halloween slash Fort Nightmares as we have not gotten a lot in the subreddit for Fortnite, which I did find these from. Um, if anyone has any cool ideas for Summit to, for me to show off next time, please let me know. You can link it to me. You can go to my Instagram. You can go to my Twitter. Just let me know. I would super be open to it, and I've always loved to make more of these. So, yes. Anyways, let me know which one was your favorite, as always. Honestly, that last one, the Chaos Agentified ones, was really cool. It is my favorite at the moment. But all of them are really solid. They're really solid. They're really spectacular and really creative. I handpicked them myself, and these were some of my favorites. So, yes. Anyways, see you guys later. Hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And stay tuned for more Fortnite Nightmares content coming to you very soon. Peace.